How does a person create a system of signs so as to register information and gain its credibility? Today, the existence of our civilization is impossible without these symbols. Is the creation of the written script the greatest intellectual revolution in the history of mankind? In fact, it is considered to be an incomparable invention by some scholars. The Egyptian hieroglyphic system was born 3000 BC. The development of writing followed the same scheme in the areas of ancient civilizations. From drawing to pictograms to hieroglyphs and finally the alphabet. Where was first alphabet created? It occurred in the city of Byblos, renowned for its trade in cedar, which was considered holy. Georgians were also a part of this trading tradition with Phoenicians. This is why old Georgian literature frequently refers to popular Lebanese cedar brought from Byblos. In 1923, in Byblos, archaeologists found an important artifact. It was an inscription decorating the lid of the sarcophagus of Aram, the monarch in Byblos. You have an inscription starting on the sarcophagus and continuing, starting over here on the small side, it means that during the 10th century, this alphabet came into maturation. It was almost completed. And on the sarcophagus of Ahiram, you have about 16 of these letters. Each letter starts like the alphabet starts Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, that gave birth to the Greek alphabet that is Alpha, Vita, Gamma, Delta, that gave birth to the A, B, C, A, B, C, and all the alphabet, linear alphabet. The sarcophagus is exhibited in the Beirut National Museum. The Aram inscription is the first evidence verifying the existence of the first alphabetical script in the 10th century BC. Numerical meanings are assigned to alphabetical signs arranged in specific order. Letters in the alphabet represent not only phonemes but also their numerical values. The essence of the alphabetic script is connected with the calendar, calendar calculation of time. Thus, in addition to this linguistic achievement of the Phoenicians, the alphabet performed calendar functions. The Semitic world was governed by the lunar cult, which explains the initial position of Aleph, the lunar deity's zoomorphic symbol of the bull, and the final position of Sin, the lunar deity himself. The sign of the cross completed the alphabet. The Phoenician alphabet is as follows. The graphic image of the letter acts as its naming principle. The Greek alphabet abandoned the Phoenician principle of naming letters. The initial and final letters of the Phoenician and Georgian alphabets are cross-connected through their divine and zoomorphic aspects. When was the Georgian Asumtavruli alphabet created? The Georgians were not illiterate even in the hoary past. Before King Parnabas of the 3rd century BC, they wrote in a priestly script. These letters were first created from Hebrew and Chaldean, and that is why our letters resemble them. In Georgian alphabet, the first sky belongs to the moon and the fourth to the sun. Why? Because An is moon god and Don, the fourth letter, is the sun god. The Sumerian and Egyptian worlds make an abundant use of different phase images of the sun. Sometimes it represents royal insignia. Don's reverse image symbolizes the underworld.
Secret aspect of the Georgian alphabet is its three systems of different designs, Asom Tavaruli, Nuskhuri, and Mkhedruli. Out of 14 recognized alphabets in the world, the Georgian alphabet is the only one which, despite its three types, has been in continuous and simultaneous use for over 11 centuries. At present, the Nuskhuri, the second stage of the alphabet, is still used in church services. Mkhedruli, the third stage of the alphabet, is the official script of the country. Unfortunately, the most archaic form of the Georgian alphabet, Asom Tavruli, is removed from the general use. The creator consecrated priests of the Asom Tavruli alphabet calculated time through the synthesis of ancient Babylonian lunar and Egyptian solar calendar systems. As a result, special information clusters were created within the alphabet, which builds the full cycle of the lunar calendar. An denotes the moon god in ancient Babylon. It is the first letter of the Georgian alphabet and designates the ideogram of the moon. Its ordinal number and numerical value is one. This is the image of the Sumerian Akkadian cuneiform sign for An, the lunar god. And this is the image of the Babylonian moon god An. This is the Sumerian Akkadian cuneiform sign for the bull. And this is the bull of the Georgian Asomtavruli alphabet, which sounds as Kha. The Phoenician alphabet has 21 letters plus the sign of completion Tau. The 21 letters of the Phoenician alphabet cover the three phases of lunar calendar, but lacks seven days to complete the sidereal cycle of the moon. The Georgian scholars included a complete astronomical lunar cycle in the alphabet. The informational cluster of 21 letter names that included the syllable An of the moon god was complemented by another cluster of seven letters that featured the syllable Khar Bull, moon god's sacrificial animal. The visible movement of the moon in the sky is complete. 28 days have passed. Now the moon will not appear in the sky for a day and a half. The high priest designated this invisible period of the moon by the third cluster of two letters, Zil and Tzil. The lunar calendar is shorter than the solar one. The lunar synodic month lasts for 29 and a half days, which makes 354 days a year. Once every 19 years, the lunar and solar calendars were aligned. The 19th letter, Rae, symbolizes this phenomenon in the Georgian alphabet. The Rae represents the Egyptian sun god. The Egyptian sun god was written in three ways. We discuss the third version of the Aeroglyph. It consists of two parts, a mouth and an arm. In Egyptian, mouth was called Ra and the arm as E. The combination of the two components reads Ra. This is the most dynamic ideogram in the alphabet and looks like a rotating sun. The ancient world regarded 19 as a sacred figure due to the 19-year-long lunar and solar calendar called the Mitten cycle. This cycle is still functional and used to calculate Easter, the greatest Christian holiday. It is significant that the Egyptian solar calendar is reflected in the letter sequence of Georgian alphabet. The solar year counts 12 months, which is calculated by letter LAS. LAS is the 12th letter and its numerical meaning is 30. It is the formula of the Egyptian solar calendar which computes 12 months a year and 30 days a month. To complete the 365-day Egyptian solar calendar, five epigomenal days were added at the end of 360 days. Similarly, the 35 letters of the Asom Tavruli alphabet include 30 letters designating the 30 days of the Egyptian 
one month plus final letters standing for the Epagomenal days. The Georgian Asomtavruli alphabet starts the year with the spring equinox when the sun enters Aries and ends in Pisces. The year should not start on January 1st. What is this January 1st? This is the day when Roman senators commenced their duties at the Senate. But how are Roman senators related to all this? This is not right. Civilization has to be saved. The perfect formula is represented by the 31st letter Tsil. The Georgian scholars divided the Georgian calendar into four-year periods, designating the third year as the leap year. This simple mathematics is the sum total of Tsil's digits, three plus one, while its numerical value equals 4,000 the same as four. That is how the old world calculates thousands in single digits. The division of the solar year into four-year periods was later employed by the Julian and Gregorian calendar systems. The described calculation of time exceeds the duration of the astronomical tropical year by 11 minutes and 14 seconds. With centuries, this gap resulted in the 13-day difference and required the correction of the Gregorian calendar accordingly. Evidently, Georgian high priests calculated that 11 minutes and 14 seconds amounted to one full extra day every 128 years. That is why they assigned 31 and not 32 leap years every 128-year-long period. One four-year cycle was without the leap year in the 128-year term. The Julian calendar is not accurate. It has a one-day error in 128 years. This seemingly insignificant fact results in serious consequences. The Georgian Asum Tavruli alphabet corrects this impression and counts not 32, but 31 leap years every 120 years. This correction is highly accurate. But how accurate is it? King Parnabas inscription mentions 100,000 years and transmits ancient high priest's knowledge about the 100,000-year-long astronomical precision of the solar calendar encoded in the Asomtavruli alphabet. But shall we live 100,000 years? Such correction of the tropical year allows no errors in time calculation. It was only at the end of the 19th century that Johann Genrich Medler, a great German astronomer, arrived at the same conclusion. This is how the tropical year calendar looks today. Georgian solar calendar looks as follows. The difference is only one second. According to Omar Khayyam's 11th century calendar, the duration of the tropical year is calculated with the difference of 19 seconds, while the Mayan calendar errs 17 seconds. So the Georgian alphabetic script is the most complex calendar script, unprecedented in the history of mankind. The pantheon of pagan gods encrypted in the Georgian Asomtavruli alphabet is as follows. An, the moon god and the sky god. Don, the sun god. Tan, the divine eye. Khan, the divine gate of the invisible god, sun, dawn, daughter of sky god, queen of the sky, khar, 
the bull, son of the lunar god, and his sacrificed animal, cross, the end of the alphabet. As soon as the Georgian calendar was introduced, the 128-year cycle got launched. Differently put, the introduction of the solar calendar started the Georgian chronicle. Since then, the Georgian alphabet has undergone some slight changes, but they have failed to impair the codified astronomical and calendar information envisaged for thousands and thousands of years. The word Anbani is made up of the first two letters of the alphabet, which is the structure found in all alphabet names. Ancient Georgian consecrated priests combined the sacred knowledge protected by sin, same as Nana, the lunar god of Mesopotamia, worshipped in the city of the Chaldean Ur and Rae, the Egyptian sun god, venerated in the city of On or Heliopolis. The Georgian calendar that grew out of the synthesis of this knowledge is confirmed by an original Georgian monument, the Kartuli Asomtavruli alphabet.